Hello, new and returning members of the Edward Waters College Triple Threat Marching Band. My name is Marcus Graham, otherwise known as Mr. Gillor. I'll explain that name a little later on as we progress throughout this video. The purpose of this instructional video is to give you some basic um, instructions on how to march 8 to 5 in the marching band. 8 to 5 marching is a technique used to create patterns and shapes. As you can see here, this formation looks quite advanced, but after we walk through this instructional video, you will see that this technique of creating patterns and shapes is in fact quite simple. So let's begin with an overview of what this instructional video will cover. I'll begin with talking about eight steps and five yards. This portion of the video will basically explain how many steps it takes to go from one yard line to the next. Additionally, I'll be talking about what size steps you should take in order to go from one yard line to the next in a total of eight steps. We will also be discussing squats and spacing. I will also give you some instructions on how to do a left slant. We will also give instructions on how to do a right slant. And finally, I will give a brief overview on how all of these different basic techniques can be used to, to create patterns, shapes, and pictures. A football field is divided by yard lines. From one yard line to the next, it equals a total of five yards. In order to properly march eight to five, it is important to note that each step must be exactly 22 and a half inches. Let's do the math. If each step is 22 and a half inches by eight steps, it will equal 180 inches. 180 inches is equal to five yards, hence the name eight to five marching. To initiate the process of creating a shape or a pattern, band members are first placed on the field in groups of fours. We call these group of four bandsmen squads. Please note that each band member is spaced evenly between the yard line. Although we are no longer lining up on the yard line, the eight to five marching technique remains the same. 22 and a half inches for each step. After being placed in a squad, each band member will be assigned a number. These numbers are assigned based on the student's point of view, not the audience point of view that you're seeing on the screen. The band member to the far right will be given number one, next to that person number three, following number five and seven. To create a left slant, let's first note that each band member must be in a straight line. Squad member number one will march for one step. Number three will march for three steps. Number five will march for five steps. And number seven will march for seven steps. Now let's see what happens after each member performs their particular assignment. You get what we call a slant. Now again, it's important to make sure the line is straight before you start this procedure. Otherwise, this slant will not be straight. If you have a problem with remembering that you need to stay in line, this guy will surely be around to help remind you. To create a right slant, squad member numbers don't change, but the march forward assignments are reversed. So let's see what happens when we put multiple squads on the field facing in different directions with different slant assignments. We have a shape. In conclusion, let's take a moment and review one of the previous pictures in this presentation. See if you can identify each squad. This picture represents multiple squads that are doing multiple slants. I hope that you have a better understanding of how 8 to 5 marching basics can create such dynamic imagery.